Good day grade 10s, welcome to your first lesson in week 19. We're still looking at Euclidean geometry and today we're going to be looking at similar triangles which I kind of mentioned in my last lesson on congruent triangles. So similar triangles don't fit exactly over the other. They have all three angles equal. So if two angles, two triangles have the same angles okay then they are said to be similar and the triangles are said to be equiangular so let me show you what I'm talking about if for example we've got this angle here A is equal to that angle there D this angle B is an open circle with a little cross and this little angle E is also an open circle little cross and angle C is angle F what would happen is if we shifted this over onto this okay this triangle would fit onto this triangle and it would be a smaller version of your triangle ABC so they are similar okay and the rule would be angle 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 so the three angles or just two of them which means that obviously then the third will be if the three angles in two triangles are equal then we say that they are similar and we say that they are equiangular if two triangles are similar their sides taken in order will be in proportion in other words if this here okay is one and this here is 2 in length then if this was okay we could actually just work that out we could say because this Pythagoras is a right angle triangle we can say okay fine well this side here would be the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared which is the square root of 5 so AB would be the length of 5. So then if I told you that EF was 3 then because B okay BC matches with EF with these two triangles being similar the ratio from that is 3 to 1 which means that this F to D would also be 3 times bigger than AC because these match so therefore I would know that it would be 3 times bigger than that and I would know that this is 6 and I also know that since ED matches to this line here because these two triangles are in proportion because they are similar that this would be 3 times that so it would be 3 times root 5 so what it's saying then is basically we could say that BC over EF would always equal, if we looked at these two similar triangles, you see we're going from 90 degrees to the other little angle. So we're going from AC to 90 degrees to the final little angle, FD, which would then also be equal to the ratio of the, the hypotenuse, which in this case would be AB to that part news here, which again, because yeah, we went from the little angle to the no name brand, this would be from this little angle up, which would be over DE. Okay, so they're always in proportion. So if the triangles are similar, their sides are in proportion to each other. Let's look at an example. It says, Are the two triangles similar? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, so if I look at this triangle, and I look at the big triangle and I look at the length of DF and AC. Let's do a ratio. So we're going to go DF over AC, which would be 36 over 64. And if we divide both at the top and the bottom by 2, I get 18 over 32. Hmm. Now before I simplify that any further, let's look at the ratio of the other two sides. And the other two sides are DE and AB. So if we did a ratio of DE over AB, do you see that that would be 18 over 32? 18 over 32. 
So we can say that yes, these two triangles are similar and the reason is because their sides are in proportion. So let me just change from this horrible yellow, I shouldn't have chosen it. I would say yes, I would say triangle ABC and the way we write similar is three straight lines up is similar to triangle and I want to go in the same order so I'm going to go that line so it's going to be DEF DEF so you need to make sure they go in the same order if you went from ABC you need to start at the same order from DEF and why do I know this because because their sides their sides are in proportion. Okay, nice and easy. So if they're similar, their sides are in proportion. If their sides are in proportion, then they are similar. Right, grade 10, so that's all it is for similar triangles. It really isn't that tricky. Um, please go make sure you know the difference between congruent triangles and similar triangles and then practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day. Ooh.